up, gentlemen? So as we've talked about before, there are certain items that men wear that look feminine, in my opinion, like toms, earrings, and wearing certain colors are perceived as a little bit more feminine. But on the flip side, there are some items that you can wear that give the impression and perception of masculinity. So today, guys, I'm going to go over my list of the 10 most masculine items a man can wear. The first item that automatically makes a man look more masculine when he wears it is an incredible pair of boots. But here's the deal. All boots were definitely not created equal when it comes to masculinity. In my opinion, a masculine rugged boot has a more rounded toe box. It also has a little bit thicker sole. So let me show you another example, all right? This is a Chelsea boot, all right? In my opinion, a very masculine Chelsea boot. Notice the toe. It's very rounded. The sole is a little bit bigger as opposed to this boot, all right? Notice it's a little bit pointier. The sole is also a little bit more minimal. This boot, in my opinion, is still sexy, but it's more feminine than this. For two, the shawl collared cardigan or sweater, all right? In my opinion, the shawl collar sweater is an incredibly masculine sweater to wear. And the reason is because it builds up the traps and makes you look more muscular. But you gotta know how to wear it, all right? In my opinion, guys, never button the top button of a cardigan. Also, the bottom one or two buttons should be undone if you're gonna button the cardigan, all right? But if you wanna just wear it like you're layering, you could also just rock it open like this. Now, if you're like, yo, I don't really dig it, but I want to build up my traps, you could also go with number three. Hoodie. Gentlemen, the hoodie, in my opinion, is a very masculine menswear essential. And the reason is because, like the shawl collar, you're actually building up up around your traps, making you appear more muscular. But the only way that happens is if the hoodie fits you perfectly. Hoodie, it needs to fit you, right? Not like super skin tight, but it needs to contour to your body, all right? This hoodie, in my opinion, is perfection, all right? There's not a lot of logos, making it look like a little boy's hoodie. It also doesn't have that kangaroo pouch, right? That kangaroo pouch oftentimes will make you look like you're a little bit bottom heavy, right? Instead, this hoodie has pockets on the side. It's also got like a little pocket for like your phone or your keys. Guys, this hoodie is perfection. It's from today's video sponsor, Cuts. If you want to check this out, guys, this is a new color they recently dropped. This one is called Black Forest. It's like a black, gray, like green. It is super sexy. Guys, if you're in the market for a new super badass hoodie, you gotta check out Cuts. I'm gonna link to them down below. That link is special if you actually go through it. You're gonna get a discount that's automatically gonna apply. One of the other reasons why you wanna make sure that the hoodie that you're rocking fits you perfectly is so you can layer it. So, bomber jackets, right? I love bomber jackets, you love bomber jackets, but the deal is, the bomber jacket in terms of its construction is not like super manly. Whenever you wear it, it makes you look smaller and your shoulders more narrow because there's nothing up by the collar in order to make your shoulders appear broader. But when you layer it over top of a badass hoodie, it automatically elevates the look of that bomber jacket. It makes it more manly. Now, like we said, the reason why the bomber jacket is an incredible jacket is because it is simple, it is clean, it is classic. The downside to a bomber is that it makes you look more narrow because there's a lack of structure up near the shoulders and the collar. There's nothing up there, and so it makes you look soft. But by combining it with a badass hoodie, it automatically makes it look more manly. The fourth item that, in my opinion, automatically makes you look super masculine is a dynamite leather jacket. So when it comes to a masculine leather jacket, guys, it's all about the structure and strength up by the shoulder, right? Here's an example. This leather jacket has a collar. It also has more structured shoulders. And as you can see, it makes me look a little bit more like muscular up top. But check it out. I throw on a bomber jacket. All of a sudden, I lose a lot of that strength and structure up by the shoulder. There's no collar. The shoulders are also so soft as opposed to rocking a jacket like this. One of my all-time favorite masculine looking jackets, right? This is the classic biker jacket, but notice it's more structured up by the shoulder. It also has more going on up by the collar, making me appear more muscular and more studly. Speaking of studly, the fifth item that makes you look more masculine is a Henley. The Henley, gentlemen, in my opinion, is one of the most masculine shirts a guy can wear. Now, you could go long sleeve. You also could rocket short sleeve, all right? This also is from Cuts, all right? The deal is, the color is that black forest. I went with an elongated cut, and the beautiful thing with Cuts, guys, you get to pick both. You get to pick the collar, you also get to pick the hem. You can go crew, you can go v-neck, or you can go Henley. But you also get to pick the hem. 
You could go classic curved, split, or elongated. For this shirt, guys, I went Henley, I also did short sleeve, and I went with the elongated hem. I wanted something a little bit different, something a little bit funky, right? But notice the sleeve length, which is actually the sixth thing you need to pay attention to, and that is your t-shirt fit. Guys, if you want to automatically make yourself look more masculine, more muscular, you want to make sure that the sleeves are not coming down covering your tricep. It's all about tricep exposure. Gentlemen, if you want to look as masculine and muscular as possible, you got to make sure your t-shirt fits you perfectly. Nice and snug through the chest, through the shoulders, but then not too tight through the body. All right, once again, this is cuts. Instead, I went with the color Fjord, which is a new color. It is sick. I went with the Henley and the bottom. Instead of going elongated, I actually went curved. And you guys have all seen this shirt before. I wear it all the time. It's my favorite shirt that I own, honestly. And the reason is because it makes me feel super like sexy and masculine. It's the black. Black, Henley, split hem from Cuts, guys. It is absolute perfection. Guys, hit the link down below. That link is special. If you go through our special link, guys, you're going to get a discount automatically applied at checkout. Whether or not you're in the market for a badass sweatshirt, a long sleeve tee, a Henley, a short sleeve tee, Cuts has you covered and looking super sexy. The sixth item that makes you look super masculine is a peacoat. Peacoats are amazing in terms of a super strong masculine jacket. Whenever I see a dude and he's rocking a peacoat that fits him, not all like big and baggy, but actually fits him, I personally think he looks like super studly, all right? The reason is because of the construction and the style of a peacoat, all right? The first thing is these collars, right? They are a little bit bigger, but they definitely have a stronger, more masculine appeal to something that's a little bit more narrow. Also, the construction, all right? The double-breasted nature of the peacoat is going to allow it to cinch in the center and make your shoulders appear more broad. Next up, gentlemen, is the flannel shirt, the fitted flannel shirt. Of course, it's always fitted, right? But the deal is, in my opinion, whenever I see a dude and he's rocking a flannel, I automatically think he looks a little more manly, a little bit more masculine. There's something about the rustic, like rugged nature of a flannel that personally, I think, automatically elevates your masculinity. Combine that with the next item, which is a Sherpa-lined trucker jacket. You are next level in terms of masculine. Gentlemen, in my opinion, the Sherpa-lined trucker jacket is an incredible jacket. Not only is it going to keep you super warm, it also just looks badass. It looks perfect over top of a Henley, a flannel, or even a simple t-shirt. Again, guys, it boils down to fit. You want to make sure that jacket fits you snug, right? So when you put it on, it's not like super roomy, right? You want to be able to button it, but the truth is that as you wear these jackets, they will stretch out a little bit. Same rule goes for your pea coats. It also goes for leather jackets. I always am a fan of sizing down. If you're normal a medium, try the small. If you're normally a large, try a medium. The idea is that you put it on, it's going to be a little snug, but as you wear it, it breaks in and looks amazing. The next masculine item, gentlemen, is a suit detail, and that is the peaked lapel, all right? The lapel is this action going on right here. In my opinion, the peak lapel is a lot more masculine than the notch. Your eye naturally follows the line of that peak, right? And so it helps you and makes you look more masculine, more structured, more strong, more sexy. But check it out. The notch lapel, it doesn't do it, right? The peak, though, boom, your eyes go bang. Exactly. You look sexy. Now, there's nothing wrong with the notch lapel. And in my opinion, this is actually a safer, more classic look. But the bottom line, if you want to look masculine, go peak. And last but certainly not least, gentlemen, we're going to talk about two accessories that, in my opinion, are the most masculine. Number one is a watch, all right? A watch that has a little bit more structure. In my opinion, a badass like dive watch is always one of the most masculine watches a dude can wear. Whether or not it's on a rubber strap or you're rocking something that's all steel, it is definitely all sexy, all masculine. And the last item, gentlemen, is a classic pair of sexy, stylish, all black sunglasses. In my opinion, it doesn't get any better, any more masculine than a simple, sexy pair of great shades. Gentlemen, the bottom line is this. On the masculinity style scale, Toms are like a negative 3.2, but the 10 items we went over today are like a 17.8, which is is awesome. Je Wait, hold. Did I did I did I forget to ask for one? Gentlemen, if you haven't already and you would be so kind and you're still here cuz like if you're still here like congratulations, Kenichiwa. Gentlemen, drop me one of these and be like, "Yo, Alpha, thanks for hooking it up and making me feel and look a little more masculine."